welcome in fire signs this is your weekly energy reading these are timeless though so you know whenever you find it that's when it's meant for you right don't fret um if you're new here i'm christina welcome in thank you for joining so this is for fire signs but be sure to check out your earth air uh earth air your sun <laughs> your sun moon venus and rising signs as well and as always, please use your own intuition, okay? So um, if this reading really speaks to you, then it's for you. If it doesn't, then it's not, all right? We're co-creating together. All right, fire signs. Let's see what we got from the Oracle today for you guys. Chopping wood. Time to go. This one comes up over and over and over again. Here and now. There are so definitely things that, that need to be released. We need to ground ourselves a little bit more in the present. All right, practicing some mindfulness. Because our future is not promised us, is it? All right, so let's go ahead and see what's going on in the tarot. For fire signs. Okay. Queen of Cups. I'm going to pull them, lay them out, and then we'll walk through them together. The Sun. Seven of Cups. The Hermits. Four of Pentacles, High Priestess, the Emperor, the Star. Okay, got quite a few major arcanas here. Nine of Pentacles, the World, Ten of Wands. And two of wands. Okay. All right, fire signs. So our overarching energy is queen of cups. So I feel like there's a real strong, um, like getting to know yourself, getting um, balanced out emotionally, getting in touch with your intuition. There's in, introspection going on. You're, you're self-reflecting with the hermit. You're showing up as the sun. So you're showing up in this really joyful way. But there could be some inner child work to be done. I, but I do see the star in the past. So this is healing work. So you, you actually could have already been working on doing your inner child healing fire signs. But I do feel like there's some confusion. So there's like seven of cups here, which is the situation. So there's a little bit of a lack of focus. Um, you could even have like too many options in front of you right now. Okay. So the universe is working on four of pentacles for you guys. So I do feel like... You're in conservation mode at this moment. Not that you're going to be there forever, but you are preserving. You're, you're staying where you're at right now. You're preserving your current resources. You're staying in position, okay, rather than making a move forward. And I do feel like with the options, with the Seven of Cups, like these all these options available to you, this kind of scattered focus, you're really being asked to really get in touch with your intuition, your inner voice here, okay? The high priestess and the hermit really taking the time to get in touch with what you want here, all right? 
feel like there's a burning question you have um, and you've been looking externally for the answer, but the answer is actually within you, right? I think what is needed here is building confidence and independence with our Nine of Pentacles and the Emperor. We need to build up our confidence a little more. The Seven of Cups could be a lack of trust in ourselves to make the right decision, and that may be why we're kind of scatter-focused. We do have the world here, so a cycle is coming to an end and a new one is starting, okay? But I feel like there's a part of you that won't set down some of your emotional burdens. You're still like, for some reason there's resistance around it. Are these survival skills that helped you cope with difficult circumstances that you feel like you can't survive without? Because I feel like at this point, they're weighing you down. You're really two of wands here. It, they're choices. So we can stay in this scattered, lack of focus, confused energy. Or, or we can move into confidence, leadership, independence. And create our abundance in that way. All right. It's really what kind of future do you want? Do you want to stay in place where you're at? Do you Are you happy with that? I feel like you're not because I feel like there's questions you're asking. There are questions you're asking. You already know the answer to them. I feel like you want to move on, but you're really like, keeping yourself tightly in place because you can't choose. You're afraid to choose. What if you lose everything? But I think the more positive energy to move forward with is going forward with confidence. Okay. Let's read the, so we have the time to go oracle card. This is where you currently are, fire signs. I'm going to go ahead and read this for you guys. All right. So fire signs, time to go. You are at the end of one journey and have not yet begun the next. This is the moment to bless your experience thus far. Take stock of what you've learned. It's time to move on to new experiences and a new way of being. There is nothing left for you to do, be, or experience in your present circumstances. Take the risk and move on, even if you need to be in transition for a time. Your destiny is calling you. So, that's your choice, right? You can sit still, sit in this, stay in this old ass cycle phase. Or you can lay it down, do what you're supposed to do, right? End that cycle and start a new one, like a new positive one. Positive one where you're independent, financially stable, abundant. All right, so fire signs. If you want to continue on with me, we'll take a look at each fire sign specific block. And um, then guidance for each sign. And I'll probably pull an oracle card or two for you guys as well. So if you're interested in that, the link to the extended will be in the description. If not, I will see you guys next time. Bye, fire signs. Love you dearly.